Okay, so we're back with Christopher Vo. We he finished his flip property. So if you haven't watched, if this is a new video to you, go back and watch our other video where Christopher Vo walked us through of his project. He had everything torn up. He had termite damage, galvanized water lines, old water heater, furnace problems. God, uh, keep bringing up all the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he had, he had all kinds of uh, crazy things in his property. And uh, um, he just finished six weeks or so later, just a, just a few thousand dollars, just a few. It's just a smidge and uh he has it all together now you've already sold it i yes. mean it wasn't even on the market just a very short period of time and he already sold it so he's going to talk a little bit why everything he changed and then he's going to talk a little bit um why he does it you know what, what what's important about it so what do you got chris well good morning and yeah. thank you for coming back out check on my uh latest project um this one i'm very proud of it we took our time um it, it, it's a small project, but we took our time and we want to get it done good and right for uh, the buyer. But originally, we had intentions of we might uh, want to keep it and rent it out to our tenant. So I wanted, for my, I wanted to keep it for myself. So I wanted to do everything that the way I wanted for longevity. But then when we decided to sell it, you know, we just had to make sure that everything was done right for the next buyer and for the next inspection. So you replaced all the galvanized water lines. Yes. You replaced the panel box I saw. Yes. You removed a lot, almost all the termite damage. Yes, Yes, yeah, because there was termite damage all over the place. We discovered you didn't need a treat because there was a previous treatment and all right. the termites were dead. Right. So that was nice. Um, you fixed some roof issues, regraded the whole structure. So mm -hmm. you have uh, the water's flowing around it pretty well mm -hmm. new countertops mm -hmm. new floors mm -hmm. yeah so i think the only thing it's not even original it's still a little newer but oh, I, and all the doors are new new doors new frame new doors yeah and then i think the only thing left really is the hvac but the hvac's working yes and, it worked very well and, it, and it's working really well but you had it serviced to make yes, sure that, it, that absolutely. it's good so yeah so that that's the only spot that you would say like maybe saving money you might have saved money on but like it's it's working and there's no point in, if it's not broken, right? Right, right. <laughs> Go fix it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> you know, this, uh, I'm really proud of this. So if you, t if you take a good look at the roof, um, when you first came in, the roof was really dark. Right. And you can't really see the true natural brown color of it. I had it, uh, I had it washed, uh, they call it a soft wash. The chemical wash. The chemical wash. Right. So I had it completely done because I had the roof inspected and the roof was in good condition. So it just needed a, a good uh, clean job. Nice. And it, it turned out beautiful. Uh, right, yeah. I love it. It, it love almost it. looks new from the, the ground here. It, yeah. it does. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. And it just costs a few hundred dollars, you know. Really? Uh, okay. Anybody can do that, really. Just hire one of these uh, don't do the power washing. Don't oh, do the power washing. That's yeah, not correct. It needs to be a chemical wash. It needs to be a chemical yeah. wash. Don't, yeah, you, don't listen to these guys that, yeah, you need a power wash. Yeah, nope. if you power wash it, you're just going to spray all those granules that off and just take off years and years off of that roof material. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. All right, so, cool. So you want us to show us right, some of the stuff go. you got, Come on. got in there? Okay, so on the outside, on the outside, what I replaced all the gables, um, okay. top trims, all that. Uh, the front post, all of those are new. Okay, they, were they rotted out? It was, it wasn't rotted. It was aluminum. Yeah. And it was bent. And you know, sometimes contractors they back up their truck and oh. they run into it. Okay. So you end up replacing it anyways. Right? Got you. Got you. Got you. And how would you like? How do you guys like my beautiful yellow door? Got the yellow door. Yeah. Uh -huh. That stuck thing. out, man. It sticks out from the street. That was one of the first things oh, we noticed good. whenever Thank you. we showed up. Thank you. So last time this was cut maybe four feet or five uh, feet? Last time it was not cut yet. And then um, what we what I did was uh, I went around and I had all these plugs replaced. Okay. I treated I treated all of the studs at the bottom. With a what a borate spray or uh whatever chemicals those guys uh, use. To uh, to what remove mold or to remove to kill all the mold and then to seal it and protect it okay okay and then uh replace all this 
all the ceilings and all the uh, ceiling fans and the lights. Oh, you got LED lights? Yeah. yeah. Throughout the house, it's all new, new lights with LED bulbs. Um, and then uh, I hope you guys like my floor. This yeah. is, this was a lot of, this was a big chunk of the uh, of the rehab. I'm a huge fan of tile floors. I'm a big fan of tile floors. They're, oh, good, yeah. They're super nice, yeah. And uh, my crew, they did a fantastic job. I love it. Um, God, it's flat. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's um, flat. <laughs> I, think, I yeah. think anybody who came into the house, they absolutely loved it. It was a huge selling point. Good, good. All right, nice. Yeah, and then uh, your kitchen, too. Last time, uh, the kitchen was not in the best of shape, but you were oh, able. Oh, yes. You were able to um, save the cabinets, right? The cabinets was in very good condition. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, you know, it was, just, it didn't even have any wear on it. I assumed the people who lived there before, they didn't even cook. Uh, so I, we just had it cleaned. We had to sand it down and we had to repaint it. Uh, some of these doors were missing. This was really critical, actually. Some of these cabinet doors, all of them were missing, so really? I had I had these custom made. Oh, the the, yeah. the fronts, and then yeah. you put new hardware on all of it. Yes. it looks like yeah. Uh, this was probably the the hardest hardest. Um, you had to hunt. mirror. You had to mirror this. That would be hard. I think it would. No, it's these trimmings that was hard to find. Oh, okay. So that's why I had a guy he come out here and he draw it out and he made it in the you know nice. in the back of his truck. I so see you got uh, a new stove. New stove, uh, new new countertops, yeah. uh, new sink. Okay. New yeah. sink, uh, new plumbing, and this house never had a garbage disposal. I ha I put one on. Um, the okay. electrical the electrical plug was not there. I had to install one because okay. I want I want it to be up to code. Yeah. Okay. And then and, uh, you got a new, yeah, you got a new water heater too in here. Yes. Yeah. So last time I told, I was telling you, I was like, you know, I don't think you need one. You know, it's not that old. It was like what eight years old or something like that. And then you, um, yeah, you, oh, you got a light. Yeah, I guess yeah, we need some light in here. Yeah, it was only eight years old, but you said that it was like rusted out completely in the back. Right. And, you know, I wasn't doing the inspection, but I was just trying to help them out. And then. You know, that's actually a big thing. If you're a home inspector, make sure you look behind these water heaters because it looked fine from like here to here, but it was like rusted right. out completely it, in the back. Right. Once <clears throat> once my guy came, my guys came in and he removed it, <clears throat> uh, the back side was rusted up pretty good. So right. uh, the decision to replace it was just like, it, it's, it's an automatic given. Just replace it and get, yeah. get rid of it, the old ones. So... Uh, all new PEX line throughout the whole house. Nice. Um, and then uh, yeah, I we, went through the house. I went throughout the house and I replaced all the hose, all, all, the, the all the valves and all that. And then he is getting a TPR and a pan. He's yes. working on that now. So it's yes. not done. <laughs> it's not done. Uh, yeah. That's that's gonna be completed. Uh, I don't know within the next couple of days. Yeah. You know? But this was really important to me because I want this all of this to be up to code. Right, yeah, the, uh, you got the sediment trap and, yep. Yes. It's good. Yeah, thank you. Nice. And then uh, you did all the bathrooms, right? Yes. In the, in the back over here. Yes. Come on. Smoke alarms and all the hallways. Smoke alarms, yes. The uh, bedrooms. Let's, uh, this was one of the, this is. Oh yeah, the, that, that's where you had the galvanized water leak. In yes. The, in the room. It's so, we discovered the two pipes that leak. And Mr. Oh, Martinez yep, there they are. It's the person who pointed out in the first place. One leak, two leak. So, when we see something like this, there's no decision to make or sit down and think about it. You just automatically say, hey, well, we were prepared for that already. Yeah, and, and this is actually the reason why the termites are here. Right. They, they look for a consistent source of moisture. Right. And with, that, uh, with those water leaks right there, they had the perfect environment. They have wood, moisture perfect area to survive and that's the reason why they're here and as, as a matter of fact this is what they're doing right now is they replace all these uh, studs and all the woods because it was all rotted out mm -hmm. and he has all already demo all the bad ones and these are actually near I like I like how you braced it yeah. oh yeah yeah so uh it comes with a territory <laughs> yeah i see prepared for it yeah i see your two by oh, six oh i got a on my shirt so. oh yeah <laughs> nice all right cool if you guys remember 
there was a water leak right here, and I believe the the ceiling was caved in. Yeah, I think there was a big old. Yeah, you had a hole here. It was a hole here. Yeah, okay. and, it, and it leaked on you last time. When yeah. You were here <laughs> yeah. Well, that that was solved uh, immediately because you know the new PEX is run throughout the house. Right. Yeah. Hot and cold. Did you uh, leave the old PEX lines in there? So like sometimes people leave the old, I meant the old galvanized water lines. They use that to help follow. No, yeah, no, no, not you at all. took them all out. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. It, it, it's, it's completely uh, gutted and, you know, I want it gone. I don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then this other room over here, you had uh, this, it was eaten up by termites. Yes. This, this whole yes. wall right here. This whole back wall was eaten up by termites. And that was also a big hole right here. Yeah. So um, y'all had to y'all reframed. Yes, this, absolutely. This whole All thing. new frame, um, and treated. Okay. And yep. treated. Nice. Um, before we put the the drywall back, because he had a support here, and then uh -huh. he was replacing a little bit, and then he was like, you, and then y'all went ahead and just reframed mm -hmm. the whole the whole wall. That's nice. And, and another thing that people don't don't think about, but all of these doors and frame, every single door was replaced. Right. All doors, all were they, frames. Were they sticking or were they, it just, they were just old, old and it just didn't feel right when you touch it, you know, okay. when you touch it, it just felt very light and very flimsy. So uh, it's better to replace it, give it new frame. And that, that has a lot of value. I mean, it shows you, you sold the home super quick, you know, I did stuff like this. I and, did. Uh, yeah. That, that adds in a lot of value, just showing that they did the doors, you see new water lines and you're like, well, what else did they do? You know, they right. did. They did Whenever I see like they only did, they didn't do the water lines. I'm like, well, what did they skip out on? <laughs> that's what I said. Right. You know, so it's this extra mile stuff. That's what helps really sell the home. And so in here, yeah, we didn't have a bathroom at all last time. So this would be the Jack and Jill bathroom, the first um, entry, and there would be a, t a toilet right here. And due to all the moisture and all that, they, they we discovered some termites. Yep. Okay. Got them right there, yep. And so, the was the leak at the uh, shutoff or the toilet base? Shut off. At the shutoff and it was dripping and right. gave them all the moisture they needed to hang out over here, huh? Right. Well, this is not completely uh, demoed yet. We're going to re remove this. Okay. And then we're going to find out what else is behind the wall. Uh, no, it was, uh, I don't remember what was here, but... It, it was all cut out because you had termite damage. Yes. And you, the, you had the commode that was leaking, so y'all took out the commode. Yes. So y'all put new countertops. Yes. New commodes. Yes. And I, did y'all replace the bathtub? The bathtub needed to be replaced No, too? the bathtub I fixed in the back of it. It okay. was in good condition. Okay. So well, we just had it clean and, and, uh, resealed everything. Nice. Um, but it... But one of the things that I like to point out is a lot of times people overlook the new water line, new water valve. Right. And even in here, even in here, you know, people yeah. overlook it. Right. So those are the things that would cause a husband or a landlord to get a phone call at 3 a.m. on Saturday night. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I eliminate all of that. Yeah, um, new because you have new water. Those are the first things to start leaking. Is yes. 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 So when you replaced all the galvanized water lines, you kept none of the new plumbing. It's all it's, it's all one hundred percent new. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So that costed that costed uh, quite a bit of uh, money and time, but it was worth. It removes my, headaches. Yeah, yeah. It, it removes uh, <laughs> yeah. all the headaches and a good peace of mind. All right, moving into the backyard. Last time you said you had you found two boats here, right? Yes. You, yeah, you bought the property and it came with two boats. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, but so, you're, you're chopping down all the grass, right? Like it wasn't just like you, oh, there were two boats back here. For for us to be able to stand out here and with the sun hitting our face was, <laughs> is a huge accomplishment. All of these trees were so overgrown for the last 30 years or 40 years that uh, we couldn't see these sheds. So the first uh, few days that we were here and we started chopping off the trees and cleaning it up, um, mm -hmm. we found there was two boats here that was yeah. hidden be behind the bushes. Mm -hmm. So anyways, there was two boats here. And uh, so it came with motors, it came with titles. And so I inherited two boats, one for <laughs> me and one for my partner, nice. uh, Juan. <laughs> and um, anyways, that was the fun part. Time to go fishing. It, yes. Uh, 
<laughs> once you get a boat, you just want to think about going to fish at, <laughs> down the water instead of fixing the house. So nice. Yeah. So yeah, you, you kind of regraded the property a little bit yes. and then, uh, and it's taken a while for the grass to get back. Yes. But, and, and this is, um, this is a huge backyard yes. from that side to, from that back fence to this back fence is exactly 100 feet wide yeah that's that's big that's big especially for houston especially where you're at in houston yeah, yeah. and that's one of the things about this property that i really liked it's it's a it's got a huge backyard and uh once once we had it cleaned up you know when we look at the house it's like wow the house actually shined very well yeah and, and then need some fence work there you know a lot of these flips will or older properties will always need work but the biggest thing that we want to hit is that you took care of all the major stuff yes and absolutely. That, that, that leads into last time the panel box was like almost falling off the wall right the, <laughs> the panel box was oh my god it was extremely old and yeah. it was rusted out yeah so i didn't have any hesitation i didn't have any hesitation to and, go ahead and replace it with a new one. Yeah, you replace uh, it with a new one. And I'd say, you know, of course it's never gonna be 100% perfect because it's not new, but you know, this is way above and beyond, I'd say almost all filters. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I, I, I do want to, uh, I do want to make it good and right. And my, my whole goal is a peace of mind, whether I keep this property for myself and ran it out, I want a peace of mind. And, or if I sell it, which- You feel good about putting another family in there. Right, yeah. which the next buyer, um, the next buyer is gonna feel good about living here because uh, once they move in, I don't want them to be worried about a water leak or electrical plugs that goes out or- Or broken lines, you yeah. know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Those surprises can, can, really, can really be a, a huge inconvenience. Yes. You know, it takes a person, and, person to, Find a, a, you know, thousands of dollars of damage or, you know, you're saving, saving that. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. So how do they find, you know, if they wanted to call you right now to maybe flip a home or sell their home, how do they find you? Well, okay. Well, if you guys want to, you know, get a hold of me, I'm on Facebook. I, I'm not that popular yet, <laughs> <laughs> but look me up, Christopher Vo, or you can contact me direct, 832-721-9889. And I cover all of Houston, and I've done other projects, you know, you know north of Dallas. Yeah, way up north. Uh, yeah. North Texas. Um, I have projects in East Texas now. Yeah, East Texas and Beaumont. So <clears throat> I go wherever that can actually, you know, pay my bills and uh, fun, then I'll <laughs> do it. Um, whatever whatever projects I get into, I, I have to know for sure the timeline I timeline that I can finish it in. Timeline and then there's profit in it and then also yes. um yeah it's a good deal. And then yeah. you can actually make it bring it up to par, right? You know exactly. So, yeah exactly. there's a lot of planning involved. It's not just like, hey that looks good. I'm going yeah. at it. <laughs> uh, yeah it, it's a lot of planning involved and it's you know um finding the house, knowing what to do with it, and then having the right contractors to work on it is the most crucial part. I bet that's the hardest part. Is it is the hardest the part. The contractor. It is. It's a, find, I feel like finding the house and buying the stuff is easy, but like finding the people to do it right, I bet that's the hardest part. That is the hardest part of any flip, in my opinion, uh, because uh, anybody can say they can do it, but right. doing it right is the most important part for right. me. And that's what makes it so, so hard to, uh, to find the right people, the right crew to do it. So whenever I find uh, a good crew, and I have two right now, uh, I, I treat them good. I treat them well and- uh, Keep them around. Keep them around, you know? <laughs> yeah. Nice. So um, that's the hardest part for me. Nice, all right. So that's Christopher Vo. If you have any real estate needs or even flipping needs, do you do remodels? Do you do remodel stuff? I. I've done it before. Um, but you do I, more flips and- I do more estate. flips okay. than remodel because I think remodeling to me, in my opinion, uh, um, I don't want to work. I don't want to do the rehab work for other people. Right, you want to do it for yourself. I want to do it for myself because right. I can never I can never do a, a, a perfect job for a client that say, hey, I want this certain color to be slightly <laughs> yeah. gray and whatever. <laughs> yeah. I can I I understand that. Yeah, yeah. that that is very that's very that's, hard to, to that's accomplish. a that's a whole different beast than uh, flipping is. and doing stuff for yourself. Yeah. 
Exactly. So, you know, by me flipping my own project, uh, I know what I want. I know right. how to do it. I know the timeline. I know who can do it. Right. Uh, so and get it done and out of my way. Nice. All right. So again, that's Christopher Bo. Any real estate needs, he can uh, take care of you and uh, keep an eye out for our other videos. And please take the time, like, and subscribe and follow us on the next one. I'm sure we'll catch his next flip and we'll follow along the process. We need to try to get it in the middle of the process next time. So yeah. like when you're in there like working and you're like, well, I did this and we can talk about like reframing a door or something. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be cool. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.